Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and we're going to do a character spotlight overview of one that I've been waiting for. This is Ratchet. Welcome back to the channel, folks. This is your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. GotBots, and it's time for us to have a little Earth Wars visit again. Um, I've been waiting to do, do this guy. We, we done Ironhide a little while ago, and I explained that he was a mix of, uh, you know, the, the Combiner Wars first aid mold and the classics um, uh, Ironhide mold from a few years ago. And Ratchet, as you will see, is... Really the same sort of thing, to be honest with you, and I'll point out what parts I think come from where. Um, <clears throat> but the, the, the fact of the matter is, if any of you have seen the upcoming uh, Takara Tomy version of Ratchet that's going to be included with the, the, the Skylinks combiner box set, um, this is it. You know, the coloring is a bit different here, but, but generally that, you know, that is the best representation of this, which is a mix of... Um, you know, I, I guess inspirations, but certainly based on that first aid mold. Now, why do I say the first aid mold? Well, we have the paneling here along the sides, which is very Combiner Wars-esque up on the arms and on the uh, uh, forearms and the legs. Very Combiner Wars-esque as well. But the chest and the, uh, you know, midsection and the head, I think is very much based on the... Um, classics mold and like I said we'll see that shortly now uh, in terms of coloration well not bad not bad uh, there's certainly some white here I, I like the way the white and the red and whatnot play off each other I do wish that the thighs were white I do wish that uh, where you see the red uh, on the door pieces here that was white but most importantly all of that I can kind of I can kind of forgive and I think it looks pretty good uh, in practice especially with that gun that's a great gun he has I wish the crest on his head wasn't red. I wish the crest was black. To me, Ratchet should have a black crest. Uh, if you are a fan of the comics and whatnot, especially in IDW, if I'm not mistaken, it is red there so I can get where the inspiration comes from and I respect that. Uh, I, just, I prefer my Ratchets with a black head crest. Uh, still, in terms of bot mode, you're not going to mistake who this is. And I understand why they didn't go with black because black are you, uh, is used on his, uh, his uh, I guess we'll call it his... his windshield there um so i i understand the logic behind it it's just i i prefer the black and again i'll talk about that when we look at the toy uh in in you know just a minute um so in terms of the paint apps I, i'm gonna give this one about a seven and a half uh it's it's good it plays off well it looks great on screen in the game in battle there's no doubt about it um, just a couple things that I personally would have changed, but that's only because I am a G1 purist. I think, though, if you had went with the um, version that I, you know, I'm talking about here, it might have looked too bland on the game screen, to be honest with you. Let's look at the transformation. And again, you look at this. Come on. Come on, when I show the first aid vehicle, you're going to say, yeah, that's Ratchet. Um... I love the sirens on top. I like that they're a bit of a brighter red than the rest of the red. It makes it, you know, look like sirens. It's great. I also like the Autobot symbol right up on top there. That looks fantastic. Uh, let's look at this from about the angle. A very, again, a very Combiner Wars, you know, slash classics type of thing. You see uh, the... Yeah, hood on the back, the way the legs look is very Combiner Wars-esque, even though they sort of turn around a bit like classics, and this whole uh, center mass uh, on his belly is, is definitely, definitely classics. His arms, definitely Combiner Wars. Big fan. Big fan. I really wish that this had been done as a, as a full-fledged toy, if there was a way to engineer it, because it, it looks so good. Um, anyway, uh, I've, I've started to use him in battle. He is a medic, uh, so he has the unique ability of being able to help others, which I greatly appreciate because I'm not the best strategist. I'm more of a, you know, run and gun type of dude. Um, anyway, 
in terms of using Ratchet, I, I, you know what? I'm partial to the character anyway, so I'm going to give Ratchet a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to say he's fun. I'm going to say he's great. And I'm going to say that if you're anything like me, you're going to feel kind of relieved when you finally unlock him because uh, you're going to say, hey, I've been waiting for this guy for a while. It's nice to have a medic on our side. Uh, so now we're going to jump right over. I'm going to talk about the points that I've mentioned here about the toys, and uh, we'll see how they stack up to the in-game model of Ratchet. And now we move on to the toy half. Um, and you'll see that I have first aid here, and I have the classics Ratchet here. And <clears throat> the more I look at the toys, the more I think... This guy's actually kind of interesting, because there's a lot more inspiration from this Ratchet than I thought that there initially was. Let me explain. When we talk about first aid first being, uh, you know, a, a part of the inspiration here, um, I think the legs very much are. Now, granted, in the in-game model, this whole section is kind of reversed with the tire on the back, but we still have the red around the hubcap, and we still have the white. Um, and the general shape, I think, is very much like the game model. Up on the uh, arms, we still have the door panel pieces uh, on the in-game model. There's more white because, you know, this Combiner Wars toy happens to have more red hair. But the general shape is the same. And, of course, when we look at the back, the whole hood section comes right down there on the back. And, you know, pretty much that's the, the bulk of... Uh, where the inspiration for Ratchet in Earth Wars, I think, comes from. However, when we look at this Ratchet, we can see that the head is definitely, uh, you know, the, the Ratchet head. Now, to be fair, this guy had the red head crest, just like in the game. But I repainted it black because, as I said, I prefer my ratchet, Ratchets with a black head crest. But this whole body piece, even the shape of the lights, is exactly like the in-game model. The Autobot symbol is down here. Uh, it would have been nice, actually, if the Autobot symbol was down here in the toy. But... In the in-game model, his arms are black, his fists are red, just like this toy. Uh, his thighs have more black with a little bit of red, just like this toy. Even some of the extra red detailing and line, uh, panel lines um, really do sort of match this toy. Now, this isn't a full review. Um, like I said, I, I, you know, I, I'm just doing a quick comparison here. I've done a review of each of these guys at other times. So I'm going to take a quick pause, I'm going to put them in vehicle mode, uh, show you uh, the inspirations there, and talk about kind of my final thoughts for the toy and the game model. And boom, here we go, back with both of them in vehicle mode. Uh, here you go, take this guy out of the way for a minute. This, as far as I'm concerned, is pretty much your vehicle mode in the Transformers Earth Wars game. Um, <clears throat> You know, we have this style of um, siren on top. The general shape is that, you know, sort of that box with, uh, you know, the windows up here and the, the front coming out. Now, you might say, hey, this guy has the same sort of thing. True, but this guy looks more like a, a minivan type of deal. Um, it's, it's more sleek here. This is more of a like an in and then a cut up. I, I think that the game model matches this a whole lot more. And honestly, I mentioned the uh, upcoming Unite Warriors version of Ratchet, which is going to use this mold. And I think that if you had that version in hand, you'd see that the Earth Wars game model is super duper close to it. Um, <coughs> pardon me. I think some of the in-game color scheme comes from this guy, such as the red down the sides, the red on the hood. Um, but of course, the light bar on this one is blue. It's way different. Definitely uh, less of a feel uh, for the in-game model. So we'll take him out of it. Even the, the front grill of this guy in the hood, uh, very much like the in-game model. So, in the end, what can I say uh, about this guy? I, I already gave him a great mark for the in-game model, and I said that I'm partial to him, and that he's fun to use. I like this guy here, but his transformation is uh, pretty much a beast. And, of course, I did have to do a couple of paint apps. If you're looking for an accuracy to kind of a toy from yesteryear and a toy from today, hey, Earth Wars definitely got you covered there. If you're looking for that G1 accuracy, mm, it's a little bit stylized. But you know what? So is this. <laughs> um, in terms of transformation... Obviously, the Combiner Wars mold is easier, better, um, because it's easier. But the game model transformation, 
has its own charm as well. Posability, playability, hey, what can I say? I enjoy Ratchet. So, honestly, if we mash up these two toys, uh, which I guess kind of gives us a Unite Warriors-esque version, um, I would give that a 9 as well. So, in-game, in-toy, Ratchet's a 9. Plus, he can fix whatever ails you. That's all I have to say about Ratchet, so we're going to cut it off there. Thanks for joining me joining me for this character overview uh and besides that the only thing left to say is thanks for watching and i certainly look forward to the next time that we have a visit right here inside the videos